Hello everyone, my name is Tuna Salad. It is November 24th, 2009. The time is 2.52 a.m. and today I will be reviewing Fallout 3. To be honest, I really did not give this game much thought at first and uh, decided to buy it pretty much on an impulse and I'm really, really glad that I did. So with that said, let's get started. My system specs are an AMD Athlon X2 4200+, plus, 2.2 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, an 8800 GTS 512 megabyte video card and just a little bit over a terabyte of hard drive space. The game is a 5 gig download so with that said let's get on with the review. Well first off I think the story itself is very original and the setting in terms of location is a radical departure from what most of us are used to. The graphics are great, if not just a little bit dated compared to newer games with the high res textures and things like that. Up close some stuff looks a little fuzzy but you really have to get close to notice. It is a massive world. Yeah, 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 I know we've all heard the term massive before, it's a little overused. But it is no lie when I say that you will spend hours just exploring. There are plenty of character options and different routes to play, good or bad. There are 12 possible endings, although that is not confirmed. My source of that information is the devlogs on the Fallout 3 website itself. The downtown area and the subway systems are enormous. You can and probably will sometimes get lost going from one area to another. I do sometimes anyway. It is much bigger than Far Cry 2 in terms of terrain to be explored and the underground areas alone are just daunting. There's a lot of shit to see. It's a lot more open and not nearly as restricted so you've got a pretty expansive area in which to play. There are plenty of weapons but sometimes I find myself running short of ammo on the more popular weapons, at least the ones that I like to play with anyway. The combat system is pretty similar to fear style slow motion except that you get to pick the areas in which you choose to hit, head, body, legs, etc. I think the ability to shoot a weapon out of the hands of an enemy is pretty cool though and the chance to hit is based on your character stats. I'm not really going to go into too much detail on that since most of you have probably seen trailers and have researched that yourselves anyway. The AI is somewhat smart. If you've played Oblivion then you will not really see much of a difference there. The zones, if you can call them that, are very high detailed. Quite a bit to see and loot. Just very intricate overall. It's um, pretty easy to overlook items if you're not really paying attention. The character interactions themselves are top notch with several options to choose from so you really can play that completely evil bastard or a really good character and it leaves a little bit of space in between to walk that fine line if you don't want to be good or bad you can kind of be neutral. If you enjoyed uh, the Splinter Cell series or Rainbow Six then the ability to use stealth is great. Pickpocketing and robbing people can actually be a lot of fun. The game has got a pretty good interface. I didn't really like it at first but it only takes an hour or so to get used to. Addiction. If you use too many aids, chemicals, whatever, your player will become addicted and suffer from withdrawals that will impact certain skills. It's not really a bad thing and I find it to be pretty interesting as I've never seen anything like that before in any other game. The sound itself is really good but I do find a few problems. Nothing game stopping or enough to ruin the experience but there are a few issues there. I'll touch on those a little bit later in the review under the bad stuff. There are quite a few fast travel locations so you really don't have to spend a whole lot of time walking around from point A to point B but you do have to go to the area before you're able to fast travel but then again you're gonna go there anyway. There is the ability to customize your home. I haven't seen it for myself or experimented with it yet but I do know that there are several options for themes and just general furniture that you can put in your house. So that's, that's an interesting touch. I would also like to mention that the NPCs or other players in the game do not respawn. You're dropped into a world where what you do and the actions you take are permanent 
wipe out a band of people and their corpses will still be there in the same area that the fight happened at. Lock picking. Again, this stems from Oblivion. I find lock picking to be, uh, for the most part, pretty easy. Hacking seems to be a bit more on the difficult side, but then again, that's personal preference, and there are several good tutorials here on YouTube for how to hack and how to pick locks successfully. I honestly really don't have much more to say about those two aspects since, again, the preference of the player and how you create your character will determine how easy or difficult it is to do either one of those things. The water is great. Even stuff moving under the water with the intention to jump out and attack you will leave a wake so you can see it coming at you before it actually happens. And uh, those effects are actually done very well. The game is pretty comparable to Fear and it will make you jump out of your seat a few times. So uh, the gameplay in itself is again great and you'll probably want to keep an extra pair of shorts nearby. I think that about pretty much wraps it up for the good stuff and uh, now we got to talk about the bad stuff. We can't be all good, right? I really almost had to look for stuff that was bad. The game is that good, really. As I said before, the areas are massive, maybe a little bit too big, but that is of personal preference. I find myself getting lost pretty often and needing to backtrack to see if I've covered every area in a given zone. But then again, I really don't guess that's bad. It kind of depends on how you look at it. The sound in the game is great, everything from the weapon sound to the voices, but there are a few problems. Maybe I'm just a, a person of detail or pay too much attention, but I can tell that the ambient sound in the background repeats itself, as in you can hear the waves stop and then start over again, so there is a distinct loop. The voices sometimes appear that the actors are just reading off of the script, which I know that they are but it could have been done a little bit better so that you can't tell that they're reading and sometimes people are a little bit too calm about the situation that they're in the music I like the music and it goes well with the game but I think there are only a total of five songs per station feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this but either way the point is that you're gonna hear the same song and the same DJ broadcast enough times to just want to turn it off there also appears to be an armor or apparel shortage not to say that there's not a lot of stuff to come across, but there seems to be very little in the way of variety. For those of you who did play Oblivion, the days of equipping your entire body, feet, head, chest, legs, wrist, you're not going to find that here. From what I've seen, you can only equip the uh, body and head items. I found a few graphics glitches in the game also, such as rocks hovering in the air or the space underneath them not being filled, so there is a distinct gap between them in the ground. The main storyline itself is also very, very short. I advise you to see and do everything that you can before ending the game because there is no free play after the end game. I really don't have much bad to say about it other than what I have pointed out, but overall it appears to be a very well designed and thought out game. It also seems to be very stable. I haven't had, I haven't had any crashes. I would uh, also like to throw in that I actually do buy all of my games from direct to drive since connection depending the download is pretty damn fast and there is no sales tax. I'm not paid to say that or anything like that but I just figured I would throw that in. All in all I'll give the game a 97. I'm gonna pull off three points because the main story is so short. It can be beaten in four or five hours if you play it straight through and don't do anything else. Uh, the areas are vast and I have just mean huge. There's a lot of stuff to see, there's a lot of stuff to do, and even some pretty good humor along the way. It's very addicting and worthy of several playthroughs. I almost forgot, also, for those of you wanting to back up your save games, they are located in the My Documents, My Games, Fallout 3 folder. So, uh, if you want to start a new game and don't want to overwrite all of your previous saves, then just back it up somewhere and start new. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Feel free to comment or send me an email, uh, point out some stuff that I've failed to mention, whatever. Feedback is welcome and how I can improve future reviews. With that said, thanks for listening or watching and I hope to review more games in the future. Have a good day.